Hey everyone. So a super bizarre video has recently resurfaced from mid-January of last year of a woman doing something I don't think has ever been done before in recorded history. A woman stomping around the boarding area of a Delta terminal sprays fire extinguisher juice all over this poor airport, obscuring the air and causing several people in the area to start audibly coughing. Now, yes, it is ultimately non-toxic residue they're inhaling, but if you do inhale a bunch of it because somebody is, I don't know, shooting it at you like a cannon, it's probably enough to cause some irritation, some difficulty breathing. In fact, three people, uh, flight attendants, all did report some respiratory discomfort, but were treated on scene and discharged without incident. The simple fact that someone would do this is unhinged regardless, and Everyone who saw this when it went viral has doubtlessly wondered, at least once, what happened to this woman? Why did all of this happen? Well, I decided to dig into the details to celebrate this clip's roughly one year anniversary, and I have the tea. But first, let's roll the clip. God, this bitch crazy. <laughs> oh my God. No, you can't, you can't touch it. <laughs> Stop resisting. Oh my god. Stop resisting. <laughs> this whole scene went down at Delta Gate D9 of Atlanta's Hartfield Jackson, or sorry, Hartsfield Jackson Airport on Wednesday, January 17th at about 9.30 p.m. The woman who facilitated this madness is, well, Business Insider says she's 27, Inside Edition says she's 28, we'll go with 40. She's a supposedly 28-year-old Ohio native named Jennifer Holder, and the actual reason that this apparently happened is somehow just as insane as what she did. And I can't believe that this is true, but this fire extinguisher massacre was apparently the result of a dispute at B-dubs, that's Buffalo Wild Wings for the uninitiated, where Jennifer attempted to dine and dash, was forcibly detained by the wait staff, fought her way out, was confronted by airport security near this terminal, uh, Delta terminal, and that's where, at the beginning of this video, you can hear her arguing that someone had paid for her meal. More on that later. And then grabbed the extinguisher off the wall and started her assault on decency. All this over some honestly very mid wings. Anyway, the officers, despite being sprayed by Jennifer too, managed to get her down and detain her and handcuff her and the whole, all that stuff. And naturally she was arrested and hauled away. The Atlanta police released this helpful statement about their version of events, which says, 
Officers responded to 11700 Spine Road in Concourse D located at Hartsfield Jackson International Airport in reference to a suspicious female attempting to open secured doors inside the concourse. Upon arrival, officers met with airport security who requested police. Officers were advised a female, identified as Jennifer Holder, was in gate D9 discharging a fire extinguisher inside the concourse. Officers attempted to make contact with the female, but she was non-compliant and sprayed officers with the fire extinguisher. Despite being assaulted, officers were able to detain the combative female. Three airport flight attendants with complaints of respiratory discomfort were treated on scene by EMS and were later cleared. Officers relocated the arrestee, Miss Holder, to the precinct where she continued to behave erratically and combative by spitting and kicking at officers. Officers requested EMS to evaluate Miss Holder due to minor injuries she self-sustained during the incident. Miss Holder was cleared by EMS and officers transported her to the Clayton County Jail with several charges pending. Wow, so after this fire extinguisher thing, she went on to bite and kick officers later on. So there's some more trouble for you. Clayton County Jail records showed that she was being held on a $19,500 bond and would be required to pay $3,150 in additional fees. As for her just desserts, she's now facing charges including two counts of simple assault, three counts of battery, and one count of obstructing law enforcement officers. And since she really did kind of do all this on camera and in front, front of a bunch of people, she's going to have a pretty tough time squirming out of this one. And that was where I thought the story ended. And I was like, okay, that's that's pretty sad. We got a decent video here. It's pretty satisfying. But I still have so many burning questions. Why was she trying to dine and dash? What was she talking about with this scam? Uh, why was she acting like this to begin with? And then I found the body cam footage. Okay, so right off the bat, we already have the answer to one of our burning questions, right? Why was she acting like this? Um, pretty safe to say, I think, very clearly inebriated. But in this next part, she answers the second burning question. What was she talking about with this scammer thing? What was going on in this B-dubs uh, where she thought dining and dashing was appropriate? A scammer does this to me and tells me that he's going to pay my father. To eat because he can hear me in a bar. Yeah, you're going to jail. And I leave a tip. And I leave a tip. And this is the thanks I get for leaving a tip. Put that down. I don't care. Stop. I don't, I don't care. Okay, I have to be on camera. You can break my bones and I'll sue you. Lady, stop. Oh, where's Jeff? Sit down. Do not what get up. What you did is wrong. <laughs> Lady, you're about to. <laughs> stop, stop. Stop. Why? What are you going to do? Hurt me? You want to take it to the. Does it make you feel good? Yeah. Just take the car. It right makes here. you feel good? My car's at DV3. 
Yeah. yeah. It makes you, you gotta? Oh my f***ing god. Yeah, how could you guys do this over here? Yeah, that's game the female game you went on. Do you uh, know how many scammers like, you get uh, in this airport? Can we wash your face off? He told me yeah, to wash it off your face. Listen. Yes or no? He told me yes that no? he was okay, paying no. All right. the bill. Yes or no? And that all I needed to do was leave a tip. Yeah, and okay. then you left. And this is how you treat me? Okay. You're f***ing monsters. Okay, alright, but yeah, okay, pure. I can give you his phone number. Yeah, okay. He gave it to me. <coughs> you don't give a f*** about the law. <sighs> Stop! Stop! Do you hear me? Stop! Waterboarding. New Brazil with this ship. Ah, so the reason she keeps saying call the FBI, call the embassy, she is so wrecked that she thinks she's in Brazil right now. DOA security. You guys take money from criminals. Yeah, I'm gonna need them down here. Get off! Stop! Me. Right now! I'm pregnant. Stop! I am pregnant! Well, act like you're pregnant. Stop! Why don't you not put your knee on a pregnant woman, you stupid f***ing lifeless? What are you gonna do more than you already have, you power-hungry sucker? Huh? Does it make you feel good? You just got... She continues to struggle and be belligerent, and this body cam footage is like 40 minutes long. I'm not going to play the whole thing, but uh, she sits there and she says the same thing over and over, and they finally get her to this chair. They get a couple firemen in to look at her eye like she had some kind of bruise or cut under her eye. And at this point, the airport security that called the police to begin with about this whole thing, um, they come in to tell these police what the hell just happened and why all this is so crazy. So she started at Buffalo Wild Wings. She, she, she started at Buffalo Wild Wings. Was I or was I yeah, not? Buffalo Wild Wings. Was I or was she I was not going, with another male? She was, she was going to the Was I or was I not with another male? Was I or was I not with another male? Or she's trying to at least. Shut up, Jennifer. I didn't go to the restroom. I didn't so, go to the restroom. Yeah, You're a liar, bitch. Okay. You're a dumb so, what, liar. What, what I guess what made was because she was pushing doors. Made y'all call us. Correct. She was. She was going through doors. Okay. Like literally, she went in the kitchen. I got you. Oh, a, buf a Buffalo Wild Wings. Right. And, she started going and started oh, leaving, God. running, going. That's a lie, you, you dumb so bitch. That's why they started calling. You are ruining was, someone so else's life. Employees was trying to, you know, get get their attention. They was like, what's going on? So she started trying to fight them. Uh -huh. Then she came out of the concourse and went to the bathroom. Yeah. That is a lie. Went into lie. the men's bathroom first, locked yeah. herself in the closet that the, the janitorial people use. Did yeah. you? Came did out you and then got the fire extinguisher. Did you, ma'am? Did you or did you not see me with another you guys male? You uh, like So that's I that's haven't, but I locked my car, locked my keys in my car by accident. Ma'am, did you or right. did you not it see me? Yeah. Can I go ahead and inspect the fender? Right, I get it. Line? I heard that you, you guys. Are, I heard that, that you guys are shady. Why are you ignoring me? Did you or did you not see me with a male sitting in that seat? He said that he so was going to the room. Make sure that I got a phone. This is how you treat me. Man, just sit down. You're just sit. You're choking me. Can I have some fucking okay. air, dude? Just You're sit. literally making a mark around my neck. What more can you do with guns, you fucking psychopathic loser? God. Jesus Christ. You guys need to find Jesus. Oh my goodness, <laughs> wow. When did she say that? <laughs> she has a cross on her. And you got a cross around your neck, all right. Yeah. How goddamn dare you? You know that there's scammers here in Atlanta, fucking Georgia. She seems to now know where she is for some reason. She's not in Brazil anymore. 
he said, yeah, yeah, I'll sit down with you and I'll have a drink for you for a minute. But me and my friend's about to catch a flight. I got this covered for you. I know you're hungry. Who got her little thing with the ID in it? Is she still lady? She got it. She got it. You got it. Okay. <laughs> got what? I'm not talking to you, lady. Is that bad out there? Yeah, you don't give yeah, a f you don't give a f It started getting worse. Do you guys yeah. believe in God? Uh, so, what's the whole Don't go there. Who are we doing? Yeah, she no, I'm chance, going uh, there. She's going to go. She's going to get a mask. Someone lied for, uh, to me about me in this prediction. Well, sorry, get How often do you guys and come across this? Yeah, they are taking it. They're taking it. They got to take it. So, we need to get it. How often do you guys come across this? They're taking it too long. I guess they're tired of her talking at this point because they give her the hood. There you go. Alright, you can't spit now. Yeah, that's the way out here down here. Okay, don't work, ladies. You wish. Yes, sir, we have to f*** her. I've stood up on a blue board before. You don't know who the f*** you're talking to. Alright. Don't do it. Missy, don't you do it. Sars, Sars. Yeah. No, no, no. She didn't. She didn't skip a tab. Okay. She went in Buffalo Wild Wings, started going, opening doors. Okay. She didn't. She didn't. This one the tab issue. She was opening doors, and she was walking out of concourse, and just opening doors. Opening doors. Yes. Yeah. Damn. Come on. No. You think you guys are gonna treat me like a dog? <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it, lady. She rolls around on the ground for quite some time until they finally get her up and they take her out. They finally escort her out, and <laughs> she gets so funny in this next part. Oh, I'm standing up now. Come on. Yeah, stand up. Come on. Come on, one, two, three. All right, this way. You have been the. You have been the highlight of my day. Yeah, I bet. Be careful. Come on. I literally... Yo. Yo. Uh, can we make yo. do it this way? Yo. Yo, yo, can you hold up? You're going to make me fall back. Well, you better walk straight then. Uh, can you hold the fuck? Yeah, you hold can. On. Can we figure this out as a team? Walk straight. Yo. Walk. You don't give a fuck about me. Okay, just drive me. You want to roll down? I mean, I asked you. Stand up. I asked you to let me walk straight. Walk then, walk. And it was at this point I was thinking to myself, like, well, I'm, I'm kind of shocked that she didn't say it. You know, she didn't drop an N. And she must have heard me because. What the f is wrong with you, stupid? Ooh, she said it. She finally said it. Uh, my car is yeah, over there. Finally said, it. I knew that was coming. I'm so glad you finally came out with it. I oh, knew yeah? it was something behind all that. I just knew it. Oh, I just knew it. Black Lives Matter. You know, it's run by white people, right? Oh, you I know that. You ain't got to tell me that. And she just keeps calling them the N-word over and over and over again. And at, at one point when she's getting into the car, even proceeds to sing the N-word. Like, um, like Kentucky University, Karen. <laughs> so maybe they're related. Who knows? But when they get her back to the police station for booking, things get really wacky. Don't touch me. Okay. Come on, I'm gonna touch you. Don't touch you. me. I'm gonna touch you. Bring, watch, bring it away. Don't touch me. You do not have my consent to lay your hand. No. No, I'm not going in here. Yeah. Which one? Open the door. I'll lean up against the wall. Get in there. Get all you want in there. How you doing, EMS? What? You want your medical attention? I need to call the U.S. Embassy. Oh, shit. <laughs> Okay, so maybe she thinks that Atlanta, Georgia is in Brazil? Could you come closer so we can go ahead and check you out, please? I need to call the U.S. Embassy. I will, I will freak the f*** out. I need to call the U.S. Embassy. You have done nothing but hurt me. I need the U.S. Embassy. 
Well, ma'am, no. we, we didn't hurt you. We just want to go ahead and check you out. No. I need to call the so, From here, I don't see nothing going on here. Okay. No. Airway open and clear. She, she's no. breathing. She's breathing. She's breathing. She's breathing. She's breathing. She's breathing. She's would you like for us to check you out? I need to call the US. And finally, sometime later. They said she's clearly on some type of a uh, substance and they don't want her to have a negative reaction with all this stuff she in here. So. Off yeah. the chain. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Wow, she she truly was completely insane, start to finish, uh, in every possible way. And I I wasn't even expecting for there to be some kind of like underlying racism element to this. She she surprised me with that one. I actually I guess she really did she really didn't surprise me all that much. But um, and apparently didn't surprise our friend the cop either. <laughs> he he seemed like he was waiting for it the whole time. Um, so yeah, that's the story of. Atlanta Airport Fire Extinguisher Karen. It is a doozy, and I am very happy to finally <laughs> finally know what happened. That was way worse than I ever could have imagined. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed the show. See ya!